you've set up your page size from file page setup it's time to lay out the pages of your book now before you do that you should have a look around and have a look at websites magazine book ebook layouts to get ideas about the visual look that you would like to incorporate into your book and the colors that you would like to use and there are lots of websites that can help you out with color themes too so here are some layouts that I've designed myself. This is very basic. Uh, it's a photo that I've taken myself uh, with a heading and just some text. So this next layout, I've done something a little different. So there's a um, dark square on one side, text on the other side. With the title, there's actually two layered one on top of each other and I've created these circles for a bit of visual interest. So the next layout, uh, different again, I've got two photos um, with text in two columns underneath. So they're very basic, but especially once they've been collected into a, a, a ebook, they can look quite effective. So with your ebook to make sure that it looks good and professional, you really should stick to one basic theme throughout the book. So you can change the layouts, have different columns, different amount of photos and so forth, but don't mix up the fonts, the colors too much. So I'm going to create another layout to demonstrate how easy it is. Um, now, often by default, the layout that'll come up for your, um, for your slide will be this uh, title and content layout. So a lot of times I prefer to use the layout um, blank, but this basic layout will also work because essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a title, I'm going to have uh, two columns of text and one photograph, okay? So first of all, I'm going to change the background. So if you right click and go to change background, you can choose a color and if you don't like the basic colors on the front screen you can go to custom and choose any color you want or you can put in the hexadecimal code for a color if you find a color scheme online or you can choose an image for the background just be careful when you choose an image that it's not something that's too busy because it can be very distracting so I'm going to choose an image. I have an image in my Google Drive that I'm going to use for the background and it is this one over here. So it just takes a little while to update. Now with the title I'm going to change the font. I'll choose a handwriting font. And I'm going to make it bigger. So sometimes it takes a few goes to get the right size for your um, font for, for the space that you're putting in. Um, I'll change the colors in a second too, but first of all, I'll just move this text box aside. I'll insert a picture. So I'm going to uh, essentially make this one column width in width. So I'll add my first column of text.
So use the guides to line things up nicely on your page. And then I'll copy, I'll actually just paste some Laura Mipsum text that I've already copied to the clipboard. And then I'll copy that text box. So once again, using the guides to align it. So I'll just zoom in a little bit. So it might make this font size bigger still so you can manually put in your numbers. I think I'll make this a nice and bright colour for the text. Now for this font I'll use a um, serif font so you do have to match up your um, text flows manually when you're using Google Slides for your book layouts so that's a basic layout uh, the other thing that I suggest too is in your text boxes is to make sure that you justify your text so this is the uh, justified alignment which means it's lined up on the left and the right margins just makes it look that little bit nicer and it looks even better if you're distributing it as a PDF when you um, create your PDF and you distribute it it looks even better than it looks on the screen now